people of Christchurch and the member for bringing this bill to the House. We support it. Uh, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, we should firstly acknowledge the vision uh, of 98 years ago when Parliament initially passed the law for the protection of the Rickerton Bush area and the original Dean's home in Christchurch. Uh, this area uh, that is covered by the Rickerton Bush bill uh, is of both natural and historic heritage value. Uh, in fact, as we reflect on all of the challenges of Christchurch, the magnificent stand of Kahikatea trees is a reminder of what Canterbury was prior to substantive both Maori and uh, European settlement. And the original Dean family home is an iconic piece of heritage from that both internationally and New Zealandly significant period of colonisation that occurred uh, in the mid-19th century. It's entirely appropriate, and I join with other members, in congratulating Jerry Brownlee for bringing this bill that modernises those arrangements that were put together nearly a century ago. I want to make just uh, two points. Firstly, I do find it extraordinary that both the Green member and Labor have argued that without the uh, four well-beings in the Local Government Act, the social, economic, cultural, environmental well-being, that they argue you couldn't have a record in Bush. Well, that's a bit interesting, because for 90 of the 98 years of record in Bush, we didn't have those four wishy-washy uh, terms in our local government law. And most of us would say that Rickett and Bush was wonderfully protected between the period uh, of 1914 and 2002, when the previous government, with the Alliance, gave a blank cheque for local government to do everything. We on this side of the House think that local government should not be doing everything. But one of the things of which we're very clear is a core purpose of local government is to provide for those reserves, those public spaces all over New Zealand that make our country special. What we would argue is that our councils are more effective for concentrating on these sorts of things rather than being all things to all people, replicating that which is the responsibility of central government and the private sector, and that is a far more logical place for us to be. Uh, Mr Speaker, it is my view uh, that at some stage we should consolidate the legislation around Rickett and Bush. Look, if we're serious about having an efficient economy and not having book, uh, legislation on the books for the sake of it, it doesn't make sense for us to now have four acts of parliament to manage and govern the area uh, of Rickett and Bush. Mr Speaker, that does not make sense. I don't accept the argument that somehow you expunge the history by consolidating the legislation. Uh, I would challenge the Rickett and Bush trustees, as well as the Christchurch City Council, that at some time in future we consolidate it down so that we only need to have a single act of parliament for the management of the Rickett and Bush area that is something, as the Green member noted, the Select Committee explored but was not able to do within the scope of this bill, and I hope we could do that at some time in future. The very last point I'd want to make, Mr Speaker, is protecting both the natural and historic heritage of Christchurch today is actually probably more significant than it's been for a number of years. The huge challenges that that city has with the devastating earthquakes in both 2010 and 11, have put huge pressure on a number of heritage properties. Thankfully, the Dean's buildings dating back to the 1850s are, are able to be protected, are able to be managed for future, and I think every member of Parliament would welcome the fact that at least that part uh, of Christchurch heritage is going to be able to be maintained in the future. This is a good bill. We should get on and pass it. We need to let the trustees continue 
with their excellent work of maintaining this very precious part of Canterbury, of Christchurch and in New Zealand's history. I call Dennis O'Rourke. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Dean's Bush, with its remnant of...